Uh, you might have heard about Rishi Valley, uh, J. Krishnamurti schools. Yeah. Uh, they follow, uh, if, I mean, it might be a little different, but the methodology approach is the similar lines. And the schools have been doing really well for the past 20 years. So, so I mean, you, can, you might want to read more about it. I, I, at least I, I find uh, their uh, philosophy interesting. Where they, follow, they have a similar approach towards education and children. That, that's what I figured out from my research, or you can call it. So that's one example I can pull out. And, uh, there are multiple schools across India where uh, they follow a similar methodology. And even for the matter, the campus also <laughs> looks very much like this on boulders. And so they engage children in different activities, but only it's almost similar lines, which is very interesting. Uh, um, uh, schools concepts in outside India. One is. Uh, uh, Sudbury, which has been in existence for last 45 years, mm -hmm. uh, it's in the US. Uh, they have about uh, 30 schools. It's uh, like all over US. So uh, pretty much they work on similar principles. So that is one which is uh, probably I can say proven example because it has been there for last 45 years. Then the other one I think which probably this thought was started much. Uh, much much before this Sudbury school, uh, I think Summer Hill, that is about say 90 years back. In uh, again, I think in I think probably in UK, I think. So, but that is only one school. I think they have not expanded beyond that. So that is also there. But that is again on similar principles. Mm -hmm. so these are the two examples, at least what we have. Uh, that's what I was asking. From. Yeah, you were trying to say, do we think somebody is successful after the education? Right, that's what you mean. And what is successful? You found find a good job. You feel that society feels you are happy because you find money. You are at home. You are probably feeling successful about it and happy about it. But if truly look at, I'm not sure how many of us sitting over here truly feel that with the education we have got, we are happy. Right. So there are two things. And if you look at examples like Sachin Tendulkar, they are not people who said, "Oh, I'll go through the conventional education and I'll be successful." They were successful probably because they went through something they, they like about it. it. And I feel this premise might be more for saying. How do I enable a kid to go through the journey that they feel successful or they feel empowered about choosing something which will make them happy and probably successful? Though I don't know which is successful. Okay, I'm, I'm saying probably it's not about yeah, whether I have an educational <laughs> proof saying X number of people have got employment through this classical model and that's that's a successful one, or only 20 people have got employment over here and that's a successful one. Might be of the 80 or 90 percent of the people who have gone through conventional, 95 percent of them are unhappy. Then only five percent are happy. Like the, probably the unconventional one. Only 10% of people have gone through, and might be that 90% of those 10% are happy, right? So if you look at the true happy sense of people, might be same. So education is just providing that stream. Now I don't know what's true or what's not true, but Neil might be happy doing something, but the parent might say, you know, he's not successful because he didn't do some X, which I think he should be doing. It's more of a society. Yeah, question, right? so exactly. This is the success term. So it it depends on the success definition for each parent and the child. <laughs> So one is that uh, if you look at, if you just slice off the years of what is called as years of schooling in college. So zero to three years and uh, three to rest of, oh, sorry, 25 to rest of our life. How do we learn? Right? We don't go to any school, whatever uh, we, we learn organically. We just learn uh, same zero to three and 25. So actually most of our life we are learning like this only. Right. So that that's an ample proof that we can learn like that. Right? A child learns the mother tongue exactly like this without any formal structure to it. Uh, the other thought that I have is that this kind of conventional schooling system, what we see is only about 150 to 200 years old. Before that, uh, very few people, the, only the very elite went to Guru Kulas. Otherwise, nobody went to any school whatsoever. So if in terms of historically, this is minuscule. If, if human evolution is about what 450 million years old, if only 200 years that this conventional. So I often say this is an experiment. ROE is not an experiment. That's how we have been doing it for the rest of the 450 million years minus 200. So if you look at it historically. Does not want to be on record. <laughs> so, so one thing is that the conventional system is more about knowledge, right? And this one is more about learning. So I think one thing when I think about it is what the conventional thing puts is it feeds you the things that are already known. And in this one, you might find something that is not known, right? I mean, that's the difference. I guess the fear now I have 
since my childhood go to convention is that uh, if you are only putting the things that are known to him are you kind of killing the creativity because you are not telling him that there are n things n possibilities and out of that you figure out you are actually saying that this is it this is what is the truth this is what you need to remember there's nothing else right so i think that's one thing here where it really this system is going to work better and at producing more creative people uh in all aspects and creative doesn't mean art and uh, anything right creativity is needed in everything so just a little out of box thinking which is now what they ask us in office <laughs> think out of the box i think that maybe you can learn better uh catch up i mean if somebody is hungry if you give him fresh uh, food to eat that will he'll survive only for the day if you teach him how to cook he will survive for the whole life or i mean similar code so that way if you if we teach them how to learn that's it rather than uh, confine them to something and say you just learn this i think that that enables them to learn anything in their life and give them the confidence to go ahead so i disagree a bit